Welcome to Your World Within Daily. I'm Eddie Pinero, and in this episode, we're going to talk about prioritization and using a simple story about a teacher, a student, and a jar of rocks. We're going to show that if you don't take time to make sure that the right things consume your life, we'll show just how easy it is for the wrong things to fill that void. Good morning. Hope everyone had a nice weekend um, and enjoyed the Sunday special yesterday with Zach. We've been uh, pumping out content here. I've released um, a handful of videos, uh, a new one Friday called When Others Would Let Go, a running compilation Saturday, and today there's one coming out within the hour called When I Was a Kid um, that I think you'll all like as well. So make sure you check that out. As of this morning, I have a a cool story for you regarding prioritizations and how, you know, in life, if we're not very careful, uh, conscious or aware of how we're spending our time, um, you know, that space will be filled, just not with what we want it to be filled with, right? So in the story, there's a teacher and she's holding up a jar. And there's the, the kids are, are sitting on the floor or in their desks, whatever. They're sitting in the classroom and she's at the front and she holds it up. And there's, you know, some big rocks in the, in the jar filled all the way up to the top. Lid is on and she says, uh, is this jar full? And the kids in the class look at the jar and they see the, you know, the rocks, the big rocks in the jar stacked all the way to the top. And they go, yeah, that's full. And she goes, interesting, okay. And she undoes the the top and she puts little pebbles in and there's space between the big rocks for the pebbles to make their way through. And she says, "Uh, is it filled now? And they go, oh, okay, yeah, now it's filled. Now the jar's filled. She goes, okay. Then she takes out sand and pours the sand in. And the sand obviously still finds space. It makes its way through, you know, the rocks and the pebbles. And the point being is when you have your pillars, when you have the rocks placed in your life, the things that truly matter, you can find space for the pebbles and the sand. Now, if you reverse the situation, and this is the situation that I've found myself in from time to time, and you know, like most people, make an effort to pull myself immediately out of, but this is the consciousness and awareness that I'm talking about, right? If you put the sand first, the rocks don't fit. And it's it's a really, it, to me, it's just such a powerful way of looking at how we exhaust our energy because you still have the same things. You still have the same rocks, pebbles, sands. You still have the same wants, desires, needs, goals, but you're, you're inverting the application, right? You always need to make sure that your rocks are in the jar first and then there will be time. There will be space for the other things, But are you asking yourself, right, in this jar in my hand, how have I set it up? Right. If if it's if it's a a metaphor for your life and your existence, how are you structuring your day? How are you prioritizing your time? Um, Because the last thing you want is to fill that with sand and then realize there's no room for the rocks. Right. Um, So just a quick quick story, something to think about. I love these little reflective. Um, you know, metaphors, parables, stories, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, are you, do you have the foundation set up? And, you know, if you sit down with your cup of coffee and you think about it and you think, well, maybe there's a little too much sand in that jar right now. Hey, you know, let's, let's remove some sand. Let's empty it out and, uh, you know, get back on track. Like I always say, there's never a better moment than right now. So I hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you did, please rate, subscribe, review. It helps me get it out to the world. And guys, I greatly appreciate that. So thank you, and I'll catch you 